1671, Thomas Blood almost succeeded in stealing the crown jewels and was even pardoned and paid £90,000 worth of land for his audacity. But what would happen if you tried to pull off a similar heist today? The crown jewels, officially considered priceless and uninsured, are estimated to be worth upwards of £6 billion. Only three people are allowed to touch them, the monarch, the Archbishop of Canterbury and the crown jeweller. With such high levels of security and protocol, the task of stealing the jewels would be no easy feat. St. Edward's crown, made from nearly two kilograms of gold and adorned with over 400 gemstones. The collection of precious stones likely brings the total value to around 45 million pounds, according to sources. Unlike St. Edward's crown, the imperial state crown is composed in gold, silver and platinum and is encrusted with over 3,000 precious and semi-precious stones. Not surprisingly, these diamonds and gemstones are the main reason the imperial state crown has its alleged three to five billion pounds price tag. The Koh i Noor is one of the oldest diamonds on earth with a documented history. Experts value it at 120 million pounds to 350 million pounds, and its contested ownership values it greater than that. A gem of this caliber would make any heist all the more tempting. From an initial production price of 60,000 pounds, the Imperial Crown of India is now worth an estimated 5,300,000 pounds and known to be worn only once. Even more impressive is the sovereign's scepter with cross, which holds the world's most expensive diamond, the Cullinan, believed to be approximately 530 carats and estimated to be worth 340 million pounds. Disguised as a clergyman, Thomas Blood befriended the jewel housekeeper and gained access to a viewing of the vault. Once inside, he and his accomplices bludgeoned Edwards, flattened St. Edward's crown, sawed the scepter and stuffed the orb into their clothes. As they made their escape, Edwards's son raised the alarm and the thieves were captured. A modern-day attempt to steal these treasures would likely be met with state-of-the-art security systems, well-trained guards and international outcry. While the tale of Thomas Blood may inspire the imagination, attempting to replicate his daring scheme today would likely end in capture and severe consequences. Search Daily Mail for more.